Hello and welcome to class. I will be teaching you the basics of Pythagorean Theorem. The main objective of this class is to introduce you with the concept of Pythagorean Theorem. While you learn the Pythagorean Theorem, I will also be clarifying your concepts of triangles and right angle triangles. At the end of this class, we will have some practice questions that will measure your learning from this class. So, the shape you see on the right is a triangle. What is a triangle? A triangle is a closed figure which has three sides. A triangle has three sides and three angles. The sum of all internal angles of a triangle must equal 180 degrees. A right triangle is a type of triangle that has at least one of its angles measuring 90 degrees. The right angle, also known as 90 degree angle, is formed between perpendicular and base. The third size side is known as hypotenuse. The side AB in this triangle is known as perpendicular. The side BC in this triangle is known as base. We can see that the right angle exists between side BC and AB. The side AC in this triangle is known as hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is the side that faces the right angle and it has the long it is the longest sided it is the longest side of the right angle triangle. All the figures on the screen are examples of right angle triangles because they have at least one right angle. So, we will stop here and recap what we have learned so far. We learned that a triangle is a closed figure that has three sides and three angles, and that the sum of internal angles of a triangle must equal 180 degrees. Right triangle is the triangle with one right angle. The three sides in the right angle are base, perpendicular, and hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is the longest side of the right triangle that is opposite to the right angle. Now, coming to the main topic, Pythagorean theorem states that sum of square of base and perpendicular of a right triangle is equal to the square of hypotenuse. The figure in the screen clearly represents Pythagorean theorem. Mathematically, we say that square of base plus square of perpendicular equals the square of hypotenuse. Given any of the two sides of a right triangle, we can find the length of the third side using Pythagorean theorem. Now, we will discuss an example of Pythagorean theorem. Given this right triangle where the length of perpendicular equals 3 units and base equals 4 units, we will calculate the length of hypotenuse using Pythagorean theorem. Recall that Pythagorean theorem states that square of base plus square of perpendicular equals the square of hypotenuse. Applying the Pythagorean theorem, we can easily find the length of a hypotenuse. 3 squared plus 4 squared equals to c squared. That means 9 plus 16 equals 25. C squared equals 25, which comes out to 5. It is also proved that hypotenuse is the longest side of the right triangle in this example. Now we will discuss the implementation of Pythagorean theorem in real life. A person is looking to buy a television with good diagonal screen size, but he has no idea what size suits him. 
he only knows about the width and height but that isn't enough to satisfy him so by applying the pythagorean theorem he can easily calculate the length base is equals to 36 degrees and perpendicular is equals to 25 degrees applying pythagorean theorem the diagonal length comes out to be forty three point eighty two inches here is a practice question for you Take out a piece of paper and try calculating the length of base in the given right triangle. For your ease, I have given two answers and one of, the, one of these is the correct length of the base. Applying Pythagorean theorem, you can see that the length of base comes out to be 3.